Out and About Zoo Week is sponsored by the San Diego Zoo. I have a question for you. You ready? What is the best key to open up a zoo with? A monkey! Anyway, so today I'm at the San Diego Zoo, which, by the way, has been around since 1916. Can you believe it? They are celebrating 104 years this fall. So I'm about to go in and check out some of the new habitat. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. And I have the best tour guide ever, Lisa Martin, been with the zoo more than 20 years. Absolutely. What's your title, wildlife? Care supervisor. Su oh, yes. okay. <laughs> this is so cool because one great reason to come to the zoo now is you've got two brand new habitats. Absolutely, when you come into the hummingbird habitat that has different species of birds, not just hummingbirds. In fact, there are only a few hummingbird habitats throughout the country. Oh, so it's not something that you would see at most zoos. Correct. And then right across Across, there are the, I, the island giants, huh? <laughs> yes. What's in there? Komodo dragons. We have a pair. They're not together just yet. Okay. We have a male, Satu, and the female, Ratu. So many people don't recognize that even reptiles can be trained. And there's something interesting about the female Komodo dragons, huh? There is, right? So females don't really need a man. They can reproduce without one. What? It's called parthogenesis. Did you hear that? <laughs> we don't need no men. Oh, wait. I'm a human female. Oh, yeah. Nah, right. Debatable. Debatable. You might need to go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yummy. I want you to meet someone older than me. Finally, Augustus. How old is Augustus? 122. 122 years old. You look good, buddy. Doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Some of these are older than this exhibit, huh? Yes, they are, and the habitat hasn't been here as long as these guys have. There's one that's what? The granny that's 100 and... Grandma's 136, oh I believe. Oh, my God. These guys have a relationship with the finches in Galapagos, where if you imitate, like, maybe you're a finch that's going to come and pick off some parasites from you, then he'll stand up and let the finches reach every inch of that neck and the legs. It's called a finch response. This feels so weird. Doesn't it? Oh, my God. It's very dry because, you know, we are reptiles. Did you get a cross stuck in your throat there, baby? We didn't oh leave God. one for you. Uh, look <laughs> at their faces. Oh, you want them to oh. get a little okay. Oh, now you're going to do she a She heard example. people were doing the finch response. <laughs> okay, now me. It's my turn. Just a little to the left. I'm not done. Wow, you got to touch them. Those, That's those, so cool. They were born in like the late 1800s. <laughs> I mean, you've got to be kidding me. They're older than that habitat itself. <laughs> At first I was like, why is Jenny touching their neck? But the finch response. The yes. finch response. They love it. Again, you heard our uh, Lisa say that they, you know, get the parasites and all the bugs mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. cleaned off. I was so happy there. You can yeah. see, you know, the new habitat's so cool. The hummingbird one, the Komodo dragon, you yes. saw <laughs> them eat. So the Komodo dragons only eat about once a week, so okay. they got a special feeding just so we can get it on camera, and that was intense, right? Uh, the, the bunny? Bye bye is that what that was? Yeah. <laughs> bye bye bunny rabbit. Very intense. <laughs> uh, so those two new exhibits, and then obviously you can check out the Galapagos tortoises. We're there all week. We're checking out the safari park as well. So tons of awesome, awesome. animal facts coming at you so and some great. animal bloopers. You're giving us oh, a good. good reminder this entire week of why we really do have the best we, zoo in yes, the country. Yes, we do. And there's so much to learn still. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Jenny.